guess what I got to do in Soccer Mund? A very big welcome back to our channel. I say our YouTube channel because if you are interested in this, it's your channel too. Let me hear you in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed, please take a second and just click the subscription button. It's red. It says subscribe. <laughs> and then make sure you hit the notification bell because you won't want to know when I upload part three. Yes, this is day two in Swakop Moon. If you haven't watched day one, please do so as well. We did a lot of activities today and guess what? I did my favorite thing. Well, it, it had been my favorite thing until I've done it. So I'm sure there's another favorite thing up there, but I enjoyed it. So you will want to watch until the end and make sure you let us know if you like this video, share it with your friends and family and yeah, enjoy. After a hearty breakfast, we went off to our first activity of the day, which was at the aquarium. So we made a quick stop there at the aquarium. I think we took about an hour just going in and out and just seeing a lot of stuff, just hanging out with the animals. It was really really cute what i learned though is it'll be a good idea to go around 2 3 4 p.m because that's when they feed the fish or the rest of the animals yeah so you would want to watch that because they know they'll be jumping out of the water for the food and you know they'll be swimming up and down like really excited and stuff like that so it was cool we watched them you know in their in their turf just being themselves so but it'll be fun if just just an idea if you are gonna visit try and make it around their feeding time For the most part, I was just hanging around, walking around, just enjoying watching the fish. But what you could actually do is to read off the information that they have got. They've got like placards next to each fish tank. So you can read a lot more information about the fish, its name, what it eats, the waters it lives in and things like that. So it was very, very informative. For this next part, I tried to remember to capture the information against the fish because these small ones were a bit like difficult to find out where they are. So I had to actually show you the picture so you know what I was looking for, what I was looking at. There's some I actually really could not see them <laughs> and I just pretended I could see them, but I honestly couldn't see them. But I had to actually re-watch this video and be like, oh, I see it now. Ah, uh, And then the other one is there. Hey, you don't have video game. You spot the thing. Oh, 
you eat. Look how tiny it is. If you hadn't already, please take a second to click the subscribe button. Then you can join this family to our YouTube channel. It is ours because you have interest in this and you can have your say in the comment section below. I am so excited to keep sharing with you because after the aquarium, we went off for camel rides. That was the best thing I've ever done for myself. <laughs> so I'm so excited to show you this. But for now, let's continue with the fish. Did you stuck on there? Yeah. That's how they live their life. Just chilling like that. But I'm going to put on Black sea cucumber. Oh. You don't remember. There's nothing like Stiga. Eh, Madora. No, only Stiga to your body when you have to get peed off. Oh, leech. Yeah, a leech. Do you eat? I don't know. Maybe same family. In Yamabe. Obviously, prices were changed, but we paid um, 20 Namibian dollars as admission fee. Wasn't really full, but they made sure we were all wearing our masks and um, they did try and limit the number of people going in at a certain time, made sure some people would leave before they let some people in. So it was really, yeah, it was comfortable to be in that space. It also is a lot of fun if you'd go with friends because you get to discuss a lot of things, you know, just share ideas and stuff like that. Also, there's like, they, the way they set it up is like there's a tube or something so you see different things from different angles you can literally go past the same place like four or five times and not be annoyed because you see different fish all the time and you see different activity so it was really cool some people will go in for 30 minutes max but you can as well do like over two hours you know because yeah you decide how much fun you want to have out of it Oh man, that is so cool. That's actually nice. Right? <laughs> 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 I'm going to eat my neck. 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 i Oh, you might skip it. Oh, it's separate eel. Oh my god. Go together, go on. Oh, you're seeing this one. Check this one. Maybe. <laughs> it's separate. Oh, 
Mana ni? Ini yang ni nyuk. This was my favorite, favorite spot in the whole aquarium. I thought it was amazing. I actually really wish that they had a bigger space that looks like that. And I actually wish like maybe the whole aquarium was like that. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. And it's a good spot for just like enjoying the whole thing. Just taking it in. Just like taking a moment and being one with nature. It was really, really nice. So the aquarium actually has two floors so here we're going upstairs and apparently that is where they feed the fish from so that would be so much fun just watching it i almost felt like at one point they had the idea of having like a like a circus because that's how it seemed to me that's the um that's the kind of thing that first came to my mind so that's the kind of spot where you want to be when they feed the fish and they'll you see them you know jumping up and down up into the air to grab the food and stuff like that and apparently it is so much fun but yeah this is how it looks i guess i don't know if there was be doing that in covid times but yeah it was really really cool I don't know if most people know this but this part in the aquarium is a good spot for pictures like it has amazing lighting like you know what I really love pictures so when I go places I'm busy scouting out for, sp <laughs> for spots to pose at and stuff like that so we have some pictures taken right here and if you have a chance to go by please make sure you take a few shots right at the spot. After the aquarium, we're off to Desert Explorers. It's a company that um, gives camel rides and quad bikes as well. So this was my favorite spot of the whole trip. So enjoy! Mm -hmm. It means we go 15 in till a certain point, which is 15, we stop. You guys want to take pictures? Exactly. If your own phones, Rodney will assess you of the pictures, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the other 15 minutes will be heading back. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you guys know how to mount on bicycles or quad bikes or horses? No. It's probably the same manner we're going to be climbing and mounting on, yeah? Mm -hmm. But the order we're actually going to be mounting on is always from the 
Beckemold und dann Vorfeld. Ja, mm. ich dachte, das ist first, ich würde sagen, dann Vorfeld. Aber mm. wir als der Gott, ich würde dich in der anderen Weg. Right? Any questions? Uh, unless you don't do as I say, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Six. I'm just chilling. You need someone to go to. Oh, I see. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in it. Hey, hey, hey. I'm in it. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh guys, I don't know how to tell you how excited I was to ride a camel. I've been wanting to do that for years. So I finally got to do it and I was super, super excited. I wasn't scared. I'm not necessarily scared of heights, so I was okay with the ride. I haven't ridden a horse before, but I'm sure if you have, then you're good to go. They don't bite, <laughs> in case somebody's asking. But they're very touchy. They, um, you find that the camel behind you come very close to you. And especially for me, because I'm short, um, I often found the face of the one behind me, like really close to me, like, like on my side or like next to my face almost. So that was a little scary. But when you realize that they don't bite or do anything to you, you'll be fine. Baby, go. Yes, baby. Hey, hey. Hey. Landscape things. Hi. Dubai things. <laughs> yeah? Hey, hey. Where is the... <laughs> yeah, hey. No, no, don't need. <laughs> no, guys, it's not... Not like that, not like that. Not like that. Don't need it. Yeah. Don't need it. What's that you want? Don't worry, we're right. Okay. Just put the stick on that side. Just put that stick next. next yeah. Next. Guys, my friend was so scared of the camels. I don't know why. <laughs> because they're not scary at all. They're not biting. They're not barking. Nothing. But yeah. I, but as soon as the guide told her to get um, comfortable, to relax, then the camel calmed down. So I believe that the camels can kind of feel how you're feeling. So when you take a ride on it, just try and be as calm and as relaxed as possible. It's very fine. You'll be very fine. Unless you're like me, I was galloping a lot. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I, I like I really don't know. I was just really galloping a lot. <laughs> so it was a little bit painful on the inside of my thighs, but I was okay. Then the scenery was just amazing. I kept on thinking what a wonder God is, how he made such a place, how he can just separate sand from water at the sound of his voice. Like it was truly, truly amazing. So I, I felt my Bible coming to life for me. I felt reality sticking. I felt um, the, the I, I really felt all those Bible stories coming to life for me. So it was a great experience and I would really, really encourage somebody to give it a try. And please make sure you have subscribed because we still have day three to go through. So thank you for coming along with us to the aquarium and for a camel ride in Swakopmund. Stay tuned for part three. Toodles!